Kyle, come on, boy. Kyle, get in. In this second instalment of Explore Northumberland, we leave the coast behind and travel inland to hear about trail and fell running within the county. With many routes available, we go west past Annick to the surrounding moorland, crags and forest to catch up with Matt Pierce. Matt gives us an insight into the fell running scene in Northumberland, the history of the sport and why people, himself included, love fell running in this county. For me, with fell running in Northumberland, it's not like the Lake District where you have these really sort of exposed, um, really, really dramatic fells, but there's so much open space. You know, you can go up in the hills, sort of back there, over towards Cheviot, and you can be up there for sort of four to six hours and see very few people. And, uh, and like for me, that's the big appeal, really. I just love being out there in the open space. and. Um, I think it's kind of really, it's not so much about the fitness for me, it's about sort of just covering the ground and being up in the hills really for sort of long periods of time. <laughs> you can be up in the Cheviot range and you can be out there for hours and see really no one. And I think that sort of feeling of open space uh, and I suppose freedom in a way, you don't really get that in, in many places really. Um, so yeah, for me, it's, it's not the most incredible mountain range in terms of, you know, massive peaks and exposed ridgelines and all that, but it's got a lot to offer and it, it's, definitely enough, it's definitely enough for me anyway. You know, I feel, I feel it's got enough to offer me to keep me interested. You have the original sort of old fell races that have originated from the country shows, which would be like a short run up and down a hill uh, at a country fair. And it, that'll be sort of alongside, you know, Northumbrian wrestling and um, I don't know, best, best sheep show, that kind of thing. And that's a really sort of traditional part of rural life. And then there's the bigger races too, um, which go up to sort of like 20 miles and, and, and beyond. And you get a good standard of runner at those events. Uh, people will come across, because sometimes those races will be part of like the, the sort of the fell running championship races, so people come across for that. But um, it's a small scene, but the people who do it are very committed to it. And, um, and it's a real sort, of, real sort of mixture of people. I mean, at 29 years old, I'm probably one of the younger ones actually. But there's blokes who are, and women who are well into their sort of 60s who are absolutely rapid and really, really fit. And it's all walks of life um, from every sort of background, really. I mean, it depends what you're looking for. If you're looking for more of a trail running sort of thing, you can go to places like uh, Cragside or some parts of Fronton Woods, um, some areas around Simonside, and that's more of a trail running experience. If you want to go on the real open fells, if you sort of look behind me out there, that's the Cheviot range and you've got it's not, it's not some decent sized hills up there. You've got what is in theory our only mountain, which is the Cheviot. Um, and you've got some you know, really quite decent exposed fell running terrain there. So it depends how much time you've got. You can come here to Thrunton Woods and you can get a short six mile loop in or three mile loop in on the hills here and it's a decent fell run, but you can get a really decent day in in the hills over there. And um, if you go up there on a Saturday, you'll always find some fell runners up there. Not a huge amount, sometimes but in the summer you'll certainly find you know people up on the hills getting after it. <laughs> you don't need to go you know traveling off to somewhere with snow you don't need expensive equipment it's it's so straightforward you just really have a waterproof jacket and a flapjack and maybe a compass um, and you go up in the hills and, and that's always been the sort of appeal for me the, the sort of the simplicity of it 
it's not like one of these sports like I don't know snowboarding or surfing which is really sort of like eye-catching sort of really rad shots on Instagram it's not like that um, it's just very simple and I think that's part of the appeal because it attracts a certain kind of person who um, just is attracted to the simplicity of it and for me I grew up um, doing sort of sports like windsurfing and surfing and all the rest of it uh, but for me actually fell running is it's almost my favorite thing to do in some ways because it's so simple you haven't got to think about it sort of come rain or shine or snow or sleet or whatever the weather's doing you can go fell running what really got me into fell running I was always into fitness but um, I got a, I got a border collie puppy and I just could not tire him out and I remember he got to about a year old and he's old enough to go running and I remember bringing him up here actually to Thrunton Woods for his first fell run and he just saw something in his brain just clicked and the dog clearly thought like I'm a fell running dog this is what I'm meant to do and um, and yeah so you know now my colleague Jed's getting a bit arthritic and he can't do the long runs like he used to but funnily enough I kind of got into fell running because of him um, and there's been so many sort of memorable times I've been up in the hills with my dogs in all sort of, sorts of weather and yeah, it's almost kind of something I can't imagine doing without at least one dog at all times. I can't remember when I last went fell running without at least a dog or two or three or four, sometimes four.